Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Nady, and today we're doing a full face of makeup from the Dollar Tree. As you beautiful people know, any tip you may have, please cast it away because this is a channel of positive energy. Okay? Thank you. Oh, my little lavender lollipops, how you doing today? I hope wherever you're at in the world, you're having a great day so far. I myself really have no complaints. It is gorgeous out, I'm alive, and I am so stoked to be trying these products for several reasons. First of all, I love saving me some coins, so if I could do a full face for freaking 20 bucks, hell yeah, I'm in. Which I think is all I spent on everything, but I accidentally bought two mascaras. For someone with no lashes, it'll take me forever to go through that. But this is also, I think, the second time we're doing it, and the first time we did it, I was kind of a bitch. I don't know who I was, but it was like I was above this makeup. Bitch, I am not above anything. I literally, I'm short. But I certainly am no better than anyone else, whether you use makeup from the dollar store, from Sephora, you have it professionally painted on every day, just as long as it's doing its purpose and is making you feel confident. But that review was years ago. This is now. My skin has changed. I've gotten older. Things have shown up. Other things have disappeared. Mainly the money in my bank account. We'll see how these products last throughout the day. I'm really excited. And I just washed and moisturized my face so we have a nice clean canvas. I do want to warn you though, my Dollar Tree was very limited with literally everything. No, that's not quite true. They had a lot of stuff, but very few shades in the stuff. Like yeah, they had four different concealers to choose from, but you could tell that they were overstock of maybe the least sold shades, which was either just way too light or way too deep for me. So what we got, hopefully we can create a good look with, but if it doesn't quite match me, it's okay. We're kind of here more for the formulas. Because if you like the way the formula looks on me, maybe you can find it in your own shade. So, let's dive in. Also, did I just wake up? Possibly. I feel like a hibernating bear woken up mid-sex dream. But at least we get to play with makeup, which is my second favorite thing. Oddly enough, they did not have a primer, so I'm going in with my Yenza Color and Face a Sunshield Glow. And for foundation, we have this new color, Moisturizing Foundation. This might actually match me-ish. And on the directions, they say, apply and blend with fingertips, so easy breezy. Ooh, honey, the second ingredient is mineral oil. This is gonna be very moisturizing. We'll give this an extra good shake, pop the cap off, and here we go. I don't exactly know how much of this to apply, so we'll start with one little bloopy. So I'm not seeing a ton of coverage, but it does almost look kind of like a BB cream. You know, a big booty cream. You know what? I actually don't mind the way that looks. It's giving a nice shine, but I don't look greasy. I kind of look dewy. Oh, I feel greasy. But I also do just look a little bit healthier. It's maybe light to medium coverage, at least with that one little Little, like pea sized drop. I think this is kind of pretty. Oh my gosh. I keep trying all these more sheer products for a natural no makeup look and I can't find anything that I 1000% truly love. Whether it's a $60 product, a $30 product, a $5 product. But bitch, maybe we'll stop that train at the $1 product. I don't know. Should we apply a little bit more? Because I feel like most people want a bit more coverage. Maybe we should try on one half my face. Ooh, there we're getting some pretty damn good coverage, but because this is so oil heavy, it definitely looks kind of greasy. But we do also have a setting powder, so maybe some of that applied might help with the sheen. But we did get some pretty damn decent coverage with that. I am not mad at that at all. What the hell? So here we have a little bit and here we have like twice as much. Do you see a difference between the two? Maybe we could have stuck with the more minimal side. But so far, both look pretty damn good. I'm gonna keep shit just like this. Let's move on to the consqueeler. For consqueesquee, we have some liquid makeup in the shade Natural by LA Colors. Hopefully this isn't darker than the foundation. Oh, okay. Very, very thick and has a lot of herb bubbles. Let's see if she's up and at them this morning. Oh my gosh, okay. That came out fast. It has a very, very nice kind of sunscreeny consistency. Super thick, but it actually doesn't really have a fragrance. Oh, wait, no, I take that back. It does also kind of smell sunscreeny, but that doesn't matter as long as it looks good on the skin. I'm gonna take this with a little brush and we'll plop a tiny bit right there and right there. I do not want to overdo this, but let's blend it out. Oh, honey, this shade might be perfect. When in the fuck does that ever happen with me? Spend $400 at Sephora and can't find my color. Spend $2 at the dollar store and it's a perfect match. This concealer, though, it does seem pretty buildable. It initially does not have the most coverage ever. Like, I took two pumps on my hand and I'm kind of building this up, but it doesn't look creasy. It doesn't look cakey. It's not removing anything. This is acting really 
really, really nice. I bet this would look perfect if you plopped it on and then waited like five minutes for it to condense. But just kind of slowly building it up in layers, that's working too. Like, look at. Oh my gosh. Let's do the obligatory forehead highlight. Oh no, it's oxidizing. I'm gonna have Cheeto eyes. And it really kind of looks like there's a bunch of pigment underneath there. Granted, I did apply quite a bit. However, the little bit that I applied didn't do much, so I almost had to. If you're wanting like an actual concealer to cover things up, I don't know that I love that product, but the foundation is still very fuckable. But really, for two bucks, this is not bad at all. Can't even get a good bottle of wine for two bucks. And then before we set everything into place, we have a little contour. There was literally nothing to choose from, and I happened to find this just like laying on the floor. This is the LA Colors Contour Stick, and I don't know if it's my color. This is medium. So let's start up there. Ooh, it's very warm, but we will make this work. It's probably gonna be a bronzy day. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Act like I go outside or fuck to the beach. Me? Yeah, right. Has a lovely texture to it. It's like a, a lubed up finger. It's the only thing I can compare it to. Oh, that's weird. Once it does blend out, it turns cool. How odd. Not that I'm mad at that. It does blend out fucking easily though. I hope this look turns out because I am on a journey to prove that you do not have to break the bank to look good. Yes, yeah, some high-end makeup products are actually worth it, but for the most part, come the hell on. We do not need to spend an entire paycheck on makeup. Is it fun to do that? Yeah. But do we have to? No. Do we want to? Yes. Will we? Probably, but no, we don't have to. I think that shit was perfect from the shade to the actual formula. I'm just very, very shiny. And to set this jizz fest into place, we have our Be Pure Infused Pressed Face Powder. I was surprised to find this. I don't know why, but I just didn't expect to see a face powder there. Oh my gosh. There is something very wet inside of here. I'm just now opening this, but I'm pretty sure somebody else opened this before me. Do you see that? Um... Mm. Doesn't it look like there's glue or someone sneezed in this? There's just a giant loogie sitting there. Let me feel, <gasps> oh, oh, it's sticky. I touched it and it just like broke. I'm sorry, but I can't use this. There was just no seal on it anywhere and I'm positive there are finger marks in this. I do still need powder though and all of the more affordable powders I've given away. I have some oily friends. And powders are kind of one of the things that can totally make or break a look. Like if you get a good ass powder in a good ass setting spray, it doesn't matter if your products are shit. They can totally transform your look. And the powder that I do have is kind of that way. Like it's just really fucking good and it's really fucking expensive. So I don't know that it's truly fair to use with these products, but I don't have anything else. I did have an LA girl one though. Let me see if I still have it. Well, I'm sorry. I don't have it anymore. So we are just going to have to go in with this. This is the Floracis powder. It's what I always use. This is between like 35 and $45. It's definitely bougie. It is definitely high end, but it is definitely fucking amazing. Let's just go in and set everything into place and we will watch everything that I have on just be amazing regardless of whether it is or not, which maybe this is good to show. Cause shit, if you only need a $45 powder every six months and if you can get away with the rest of your face only being 20 bucks, then shit, maybe that ain't that bad. Maybe we struck oil here. I don't know. I hear a voice. Where is that coming from? Is someone at my front door? Heh <laughs> it was maintenance. Answered the door with powder on my nose like I'd been snorting some big C. It's just setting powder, I swear. I'm naturally this energetic. I do have to say this shit does look really fancy. The foundation at least looks hella expensive. The contour, it did maybe disappear. But the concealer, it's not the star of the show. At least not today. It's very separate -y. I know I did go in with quite a lot, but I had to otherwise it just looked like lotion. So I'm still not in love with that, but everything else so far, Damn, bitch. I usually like to match the heaviness of my bronzer and blush and all that shit to my eyeshadow, so let's just skip over that and move straight to the eyes. Holy hell, that was loud. This is the six color eyeshadow by LA Colors. They had a fuck ton of shadows to choose from. I wanted them all, but I knew I'd only use one, so if we do this again, we could try the other ones. But we have a nice little nudish array here. My ass didn't just get two mascaras, but I also got two liners. We have the LA Colors liner, and then we have the Tony Waterproof Smooth 
smooth glide. They had a whole section of this shit. I don't know what it is, but it looked nice. Just because of how gorgeous the packaging is, I kind of want to go in with this first. And I want a beautiful glam smoky eye. Something really luxurious and expensive looking. And to me that all we, wait, this is purple. To me, a perfect glam eye is lined in black. And I do want to do that, but I also kind of want to use the purple on the waterline. Should we try that first so as not to fuck everything up? Well, here we go. Ooh, well, it definitely worked. It also is very pointy. I can't exactly tell that it's purple though. It almost looks a little bit splotchy. So I think I'm just going to stick to the black one that I got. But does this work? Absolutely. For now, let's go in with the, oh damn, that's so sharp. I don't know why I'm poking my eye. For now, let's go in with the LA Color Pencil. And I'm also going to line the upper water line. However, it seems like nothing is really happening. Let me try it on this side. Ooh, yeah, all right. It's not the easiest to use on the water line, but like the actual eye skin itself, it glides on very smoothly. And now that we have a little something to smoky smoky out on our eyes, let's dive into the eyeshadow. To start, I'm going to go in with this Lido, Lido? I'm going to start with the lightest shade right here and we're going to plop that right underneath the brow. I did already prime with a little bit of that concealer. So there is something for this to stick to and damn, this eye makeup, it looks like 15 year old Nadie is ready to go to a Green Day concert. I freaking love it, but I also really love how pigmented this light shade is. Damn, yeah. Here we go. My look is done. No, I'm kidding. But let's also take a little bit of that right on the inner part of the eye because that is going to be our highlighter. Next, let's build up the crease with these two shades. They honestly are almost the exact same. Oopsie. They're pretty much the same. So we're just going to dip into both and we'll plop this sexy beast right on the crease line and start to blend it up. <gasps> that is actually really nice. My goodness. I'm not saying this is like Pat McGrath quality. However, it actually has decent pigmentation to it. Like, look at that. I guess I wasn't expecting her to have that much of a boom. Well, grease me up and slide me in, bitch. I'll be damned. Look at how nice this is. Gonna take a pencil brush and smoke this on the bottom lash. Oh my gosh. I have lash glue still on my lashes and I haven't used that product in probably two weeks. How in the hell? Anywho, I'm kind of just sliding this in between the lashes so it catches the upper and the lower lash. I'm not being lazy, I promise. It's just a thing I do. So far, we're not looking terrible. I think the eyeshadow's kind of fucking great. Oh, hell. I just noticed this deep one, which I was really excited about, is a shimmer, which means the darkest shadow we have is this, which is fine. We'll just plop that right on the outer corner and start to work it towards the center. Oh, hell, that is perfect. Damn. Y'all remember we just tried that Timu palette and it did not have pigmentation for shit? And it was like like four dollars. Bitch, this is a dollar twenty-five and look at how great that is. Once again, let's blend this out on the lower lash. Oh my gosh, I love this. Tell me these eyes aren't out to fuck somebody. Uh-huh, this is a sexy look. And I really didn't have to go in and blend any more than I would with any other palette and I didn't have to use any more shadow than I would with any other palette. One eye though is a bit darker. I don't really know how that happened. It's okay. We're not here for perfection. We're here for puns. And then before I go in with the shimmer, I'm gonna line my waterline one last time. And I kind of want to use this with the shimmer. How adorable. It's like a gelato spoon. We'll slide her along this shimmery goodness. Uh-huh. I feel like these have gotten a lot smaller. Uh -huh. Oh, it's crumbling all over my face. Ugh. No, fuck that. We're going in with our finger. Because then I can do my little faux cut crease right there. Oh. I like to go from the inner corner and kind of slide it up towards the brow. Also, just to remind everyone, each of these shadows are 21 cents. So when you're out there paying like $14 for a shimmer, just remember this. Not that those $14 shimmers aren't freaking amazing and made with really good ingredients and maybe made in a different location. So there is that, but if you're balling on a budget, do you have to have that $14 one over this? No. And then just on the outer corner, we are gonna take that deeper shimmer and we'll go from the center and kind of tap it outwards. This really does look pretty damn good so far. But I think the product that I am most excited about is this liquid liner. I hope it's not all gluey and sticky. It probably is because it's lash glue. But a girl can hope. It wouldn't really be an issue except I always like to do long wangs and I had totally planned on doing one today and I still am. But I'll let you know if it is sticky. Maybe this isn't a wing kind of product. Who doesn't love a good wang? Uh, it definitely has some nice pigment to it. And so far I would not be able to tell that it's a glue. Ooh, but the tip does want 
gonna dry down really, really quick, and it's kind of on the patchy side. It's not terrible, but there are so many good eyeliners out there from the drugstore that are really affordable and are really good, and they might be a bit easier to work with and kind of look better and last longer. But if this is all you can grab, it's definitely doable. But liner to me is kind of like concealer, where those are things you don't want to fuck with. You find something that works really well for you, and you stick with it no matter the cost. Not my favorite, kind of crumbly, but you totally could work with it. But I don't recommend doing a wing with it. Like, there are some bald-ass patches right there. From a distance, it looks all right, though, right? Yeah, not too shabby. I'm really curious to see how it'll be at the end of the day. It's not like I'm rubbing foreign objects all over my eyes or anything. Why did I immediately go to that hand gesture? I'd be rubbing anything on my eyes. Before we go in with our falsies, I'm now realizing that one of the mascars we got is blue, which I absolutely love, but not for today's look. Let me just pop it out so I can show you. <gasps> It's vibrant, it's electric, that is just hella lovely. Get a Dollar Tree. Glad my ass made a mistake and got double. Instead, we were going with the Wet n Wild Mega Wear. Ooh, she's gloopy. It is really clumpy. Kind of like it's old and dried, but so am I. I am so sorry, but I don't like this mascara. It's just leaving big old clumps on my lashes. I'm sure if you put like saline or something in there and kind of swished it around, then it would be fine, but I don't have any. So this is how we look. It's not terrible, just Loopy. And finally, for the eyes, we have some lashes, which I do need to go and trim. But these are 100% handmade, natural light and wispy by Ioni. And they are certainly light and wispy. Very cute. I feel like a little fairy. Oh, shit, I am a little fairy. And I know this liner was supposed to be glue, but it is not sticky, so we're going in with real glue. Eh? Uh, can we tell anything is there? Well, it certainly is light, airy, and wispy. Yeah, this eyelash is about as glamorous as toilet wine, but it is definitely enhancing the look. It's totally catered for a more natural look, but it's still a really nice lash. Oh my goodness, and it has multiple layers on it too. Oh, I'm gonna have to keep using these. Oh my gosh, my eye is glued shut. Yeah, same thing happened two nights ago. The eyes are done, and other than my uneven fucked up eyeliner, I would never know that this isn't a look from like the Natasha Denono Glam Palette or an ABH palette. Shit! Let's keep chugging away. We have yet another LA Colors product. This is Nude Glow Bronzer. Oh shit, I really should have done my bronzer first because then I could've use some of that on the eyes. What the hell, Nady? This, much unlike that setting powder, came nice and sealed. So thank you for that, and the color might actually be all right. Here we go, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I don't think that did anything. Let's take a little bit more. Huh? I don't think that's doing anything. Let's really dive into this. Okay. It could just very well be that it's a bit too light for me. Oh, there we go. We just needed an ass to... Oh, okay then. Packaging game is not on point. Oh, that's okay. Let's just really build this up and get a nice Glamazon glow. It seems like if you kind of pack this on, it does have some good pigment to it. You just have to use a good bit and ain't nothing wrong with that. It's a dollar. Ooh, shit, yeah. Uh-huh. I'm not upset with this at all, even though you do have to use a good bit. It just makes it buildable. Wow! I totally regret not blending everything down my neck, though. This is like 10 different shades. Ooh, bitch, she got a turkey neck. Next, we have our blush. I'm just gonna use the same brush. But she is by LA Colors, and I probably would have rather had something a bit more on the berry side, or maybe salmon. Oh. However, the selection was a little bit limited, and I do think this will be fine, so let's dive into her. And she does have some glitter in her, too, so that's fun. I like to start on the temple, and then slowly work it towards the center of the face. No, we might have to do the same thing like we did with the bronzer, and really pack it on. There we go. She just needed a little bit of coaxing. That glitter, though, I don't fully understand what the point of it is. It's not sticking to my my skin is just flying everywhere. Do we see a difference between the two sides a little bit? It's buildable, so you could use it on multiple different skin shades. I don't think I mind this in the least. No, madam. And then because this is such a high glam look, I'm gonna do something I very rarely do, and that is just take a little bit of powder right under here to redefine that cheekbone. With everything that we've used, it did get a little bit muddy. Oh, no, it looks like I contoured my beard. That's fine, we'll wipe it off momentarily, but first, we have some highlighter. There were two LA color choices is one that was super fucking light and one that was super fucking deep. So I chose the one that was too light. And hopefully we can get this to work. Even if it doesn't match me, I'm such a highlighter whore that I'll love it anyways. All right, baby, here we go. Uh-huh. Ooh. <gasps> 
Oh, oh my goodness, I can die happy. <laughs> oh, but that is definitely way too light. I don't mind this, even though it does look like shimmery milk on my cheek. Once you kind of blend it around, it is not bad at all. <sighs> I'm gonna plop some right on the inner corner of the eyes too. Eh, fuck, let's just bring this everywhere, damn. I'll take whatever's left on this cheek brush and gently tap it over that highlight. And there we go. Let's go ahead and give my face a quick set before we do the lips. To do that, I'm combining the Urban Decay All Nighter and the New Neutrogena Hydrating Setting Spray. Oh, look at how moist I am. All right, so I would say this looks fucking fantastic. Once everything is set into place and I have like my eyes all done up, oh shit, that mascara is everywhere. But once everything is on, I cannot tell that this concealer was breaking apart. It actually looks like a high-end concealer. I certainly wouldn't think that what I have on isn't worth a couple hundred bucks. The skin is glowing, though I am missing a chunk of makeup from right there. I probably just didn't put it on. I always get that right there and right there. But face color and bronziness aside, this looks pretty fucking good. I am so damn impressed. So let's move on to the final step, our lips. And I could have sworn that I got a liquid lipstick too, but I guess not. This is the LA Colors Nude Glam. This is basically just an LA Colors review. Ooh, and it kind of smells like Christmas. A mixture of chocolate, cinnamon, and chemicals. Huh, all right, well, here we go. It won't stay up. <laughs> Been there. Eh, okay. I... Ah, oh, it's very, very oily, super creamy. Oh, I love that flavor. What is that? Uh. Mmm, that's delicious. I totally should have lined my lips though because this feels like it's gonna just be everywhere. Uh-uh, this is not titty licking proof. I'm gonna try setting it in a place with setting spray. Does that work? We'll see. Mm -hmm. One moment. That kind of helped, but she still does need a liner, so I'm not really hopeful about the lipstick. But the look overall, goddamn! This is exactly what I wanted today. It is a little bit overly bronzed, but what's new? I think my skin looks absolutely fabulous. My eye look is simple, but glam. I would say so far, this is totally a fucking win. So here is how we look like for now. I'm gonna wear this for the rest of my day. I will see you in just a second. We are back and at the end of our day and I'm ready for my face to be as bare as a booty. But what I will say is that I have quite enjoyed passing every single mirror because this looks great. Except the concealer, that is not for me. I don't know really how much you'll be able to see, but in real life, my under eyes are so creasy. It's doing that thing where the concealer kind of separates and makes little wormholes. It's like country music or tequila. Tequila. It's not good for me. But what is good is pretty much everything else for the most part. The foundation, hands down, is the best thing that we tried today. Like, that is the shit. The eyeshadow, though, is a very close second. Like, it is so damn stunning still. Nothing's fallen down underneath my face. Oh, but that highlighter's gorgeous, too. Shit, we have several products that are tied. I liked everything except the concealer. Let's just go there. I don't love the black or purple liner on my waterline. They're kind of crumbly and not much is left. Oh, and that mascara. Shit. Okay, so not everything was a winner. I think I still have lipstick on. Wow, that's impressive. But really and truly, that fucking foundation, at least with the powder that I used and those two setting sprays, it's just magic. But then at the same time, you could just spend like $15 on a really banging foundation and not have to use that magical powder or really good setting sprays. So I guess there's that. But regardless, do not sleep on all of Dollar Tree's makeup. They have some good ass shit. Gotta admit, the bitch is impressed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So my loves, there you go go. Thank you so much for being here. I love having you and please comment down below if there's anything else from the Dollar Tree that I should try. We've tried some pretty questionable food from there. Now we've tried makeup. But damn it, I love that place. And if you want just a little bit more nady in your life, head over to my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash poplux. You get videos a day early. You get Patreon-only content. You get a Patreon-only store. And best part, it is cheap, fun, and fancy just like me. And don't forget my latest Repop Gloss Launch is available at repopcosmetics.com. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at official and you can follow me online at thepoplex.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye.